Alrighty, it's time for the buzz today. Have you seen this video yet? Some firefighters found a very special way this week to pay tribute to the heroes of 9-11. Their effort is going viral and Dia Davidson joins us now with that in the buzz. You know, it's an understatement talking about those storms. Oh ha God. Having covered it, it mm -hmm. is devastating just mm -hmm. to see it and you yeah. just, your prayers go out to the folks. But this is a really good story too. Two Georgia firefighters made a memorial 9-11 climb fully suited on a pair of gym stairmasters. Take a look. It was all to honor the 343 fallen heroes who climbed the World Trade Center stairs after the attack in 2001. The pair's efforts were caught on cam yesterday at a Planet Fitness in Warner Robins, Georgia. Firefighters reportedly started at 8.46 a.m. and climbed all 110 stories, then went back down. They were not alone. Another group of firefighters made a memorial climb in Denver, Colorado. And over in Sacramento, some firefighters climbed to the top of the Renaissance Tower. They brought with them the names of the fallen 9-11 heroes. You know, that's mm -hmm. just an event you just, you know, there are certain things in history where you remember exactly where you were, mm -hmm. what you were doing, and that is exactly one of them. I was anchoring Sunrise, then I got home on a break, and I remember my sweet little grandmother, who's now deceased, she, she said, oh, Dia, I think there's been a terrible accident. I think a little plane <gasps> went into the World Trade Center. And then, of course, we know Kathy yeah. Stone here at the station. She was blowing up phones. We yeah. had to come back. Nancy and I co-anchored Sunrise for the next couple of days mm -hmm. because everybody was just glued. Yeah, just absolutely. Oh, yeah. You glued. couldn't take your eyes you off could. the TV It's, when that it's like it wasn't real. It's it, like exactly. it wasn't happening. Mm -hmm. I still get chills even just thinking Talking about, about it, it right now. Right now, yeah. yeah. And then it's to see just... the way people are are remembering mm -hmm. these people. It's and wonderful. I think for years to come, I mean, certainly the rest of our lifetime, that's yeah. going to be the way it is. Yeah. Every year on that anniversary, people are going to remember no matter what. There's going to be mm -hmm. things that are done, memorials, tributes like that. Um, it's it, not. It's yeah. never going to fade away. Oh, it's no. amazing to see those individual tributes, like the one, yeah, of those firefighters. That's just so touching that they did that. So. And you know, they did a story too. They were saying that there's a florist. My mother was telling me about it. That every day mm -hmm. puts flowers at the memorials, mm -hmm. so that they know that people there who lost their lives, who were such such heroes, so heroic, and saving a lot of us mm -hmm. and our capital too, mm -hmm. um, will never be never be forgotten. Absolutely. So indeed. So that's a great story there. Well, here's another one. Okay, several California women are now accusing one man of purposefully luring them into expensive restaurants with the intention of leaving them with the bill. <laughs> A card. What? All right, prosecutors say that is considered extortion, and now he's facing charges. Well, he is kind of cute looking. All right, emotions <laughs> ran high inside a Pasadena courtroom Tuesday where the women came face to face with Paul Gonzalez, also known as the Dine and Dash Dater. At least 10 women claim they met Gonzalez on some dating apps. After dinner and conversation, the women say he made an excuse about taking a call or having to go to the bathroom, got up from the table, and then, of course, never returned, sticking them with that expensive dinner bill. Gonzalez faces multiple counts of felony extortion, attempted extortion, and so much more. For this, he could get up to 16 years in prison if convicted, wow. and the food in prison is not very good, so. No. Mm. Mm. I cannot believe this. I what know. kind at of an first, ingenious scam. I, I was gonna say, at first, I'm kind of like, <laughs> it's sort of, I mean, I don't want to say it's smart, but I'm yeah. like, I would never think to do that. I, You're like terrible. Okay, I guess if he was looking for a way to get fed, I suppose. But yeah. that's horrible. We these all women. We yeah. all like a nice fillet, but bro, come you on. wonder what his kind of motive behind <laughs> it was. Was he like, really? Is he really hung? Was he just really needing food, or does he have some weird thing where that's? Well, he know, would have to like, have some kind of weird. Uh, he, I bet he's just a on. miser and doesn't want to spend yeah. the money. And he's I mean, like, just, yeah, well, I just. That's ugh. so cruel though to those women because they're looking for relationships and love and not to be taken advantage of. So naughty to him. <laughs> and some big businesses like Starbucks and McDonald's have recently backed a ban on plastic straws. Now, a foldable, reusable metal straw is in the works for consumers. Oh, my goodness. The collapsible metal straw neatly folds into a small carrying case. The straw's outer shell is stainless steel, and the inner tubing is durable silicon. Emma Cohen and cinematographer Miles Pepper launched a crowdfunding campaign on Kickstarter to fund the initial production. In less than a month, it raised nearly $2 million, and to date, Final Straw straw, as it is called, has racked up 150,000 pre-sale sure orders. You know, these things Whoa. are going for upwards to $30 a piece. Wow. Oh, so you're really going to carry that around in your purse or in your pocket and they show her cleaning it. But I mean, cleaning something like that. I don't know. Some That's things, the thing. Some yeah. things just kind of need to be disposable. I understand I, no, I get the it. waste right. and wanting to cut down, but yes, but if, a, if it's a choice between putting your lips right on the glass or yeah. having a 
I, I think I'll pick the reusable straw. Yeah, yeah, and they do, but they do have the ones that I know they're not that great to drink out of the oh, paper the bam, ones, the but they get off or the bamboo ones. Exactly. But then I have places they look like plastic ones, so those green ones, but they're recyclable. They're made oh, from like plant okay. fibers. So those, those I'm like, let's do it. Yeah, okay. Let's do that. Well, there you go. Yeah. That's the bus. All right, dear. Thank you.